high paying work from home jobs. Now you might think that there's just no such thing or all of these opportunities are just not legit. But today we are going to go over four legitimate high paying work from home jobs that you can apply for today. Now I know high pay is relative, right? What I think is high pay, you might think just is not enough, but stick around because today I have four high paying jobs that touch every tier of high pay. Now in order to even be considered for any of these jobs, you're gonna need a resume and this can be the hardest part to get right. Today Today, we are going against robots and this is probably one of the hardest job markets that there is and this doesn't even mention the competition that it is out there especially to get these high paying jobs that we're gonna go over today so really you just need a plan in order to secure one of these positions okay so is it all hopeless no I've got you covered today I actually looked over a hundred articles of the best tips that is out there in creating a resume that doesn't immediately get sent to the trash and in today's video we're gonna be sprinkling in them tips all throughout the video so make sure that you stay tuned so you don't miss a tip to be able to level up your resume game now speaking of tips have you ever sent a copy and paste dm or have you ever been sent a copy and paste dm sometimes the message you get has the wrong handle it they be like, hey girl, you're not even a girl. It could be a messy situation, right? <laughs> I can't even tell you that I've never sent any of those messages, but what I can tell you is that people do not like them. When somebody finds out that you're copy pasting a message to them, they don't have nothing good to say. <laughs> so this is exactly how your employers feel when you do the same thing with your resume. When you have a generic resume that you are just blasting out there, it is so obvious a lot of times that the skills, even on your resume, don't match the job that you're looking to get hired for. And it comes off just as cringy as those DMs that you get. And you can almost guarantee that these are the resumes that hit the trash the fastest. So in order to counteract this, you need to customize each of your resumes for the job that you're applying for. Read over the descriptions, see what skills you have that are already correlated to this position, and then add in those exact terms that are used in the job description is gonna be a huge bonus as well. Now, this could be a lot of work and it's actually exactly why I created the private community that I have to be able to help you with custom resumes and even finding you jobs that you're looking for in the industry that you are in or maybe the industry that you wanna be in. We're really just looking to take the stress out of the process for you while helping you to land your next position. And really we have something for everybody in every every budget we have from exclusive job leads to a complete white glove VIP experience. You get to choose what works for you. All the information for that though is going to be down in the description box below. But let's go ahead and hop into this first remote job position. It's with a company called Invoice Cloud. They're currently on the hunt for a customer success manager to join their team. Now Invoice Cloud was founded in 2009 and has been been on the rise as a mainstream cloud-based payment processing business and with a focus on putting their customers first they have really been disrupting the industry processing over 50 million payments a year now they're looking for a skilled customer service manager to strengthen their client relationships and drive success to their business. So what you're gonna be doing is playing a crucial role as the advocate for their clients, making sure to get them the highest value from Invoice Cloud's platform. Now the customer success manager is gonna be responsible for managing day-to-day -day interaction, minimizing churn, and implementing programs that boost payment adoption, drive revenue growth, and enhance the client's awareness of Invoice Cloud's suite of services. So the expectations for this position is a heavy focus on retention and growth, building trusted relationships, understanding key client health indicators, and being able to drive engagement are going to be your key responsibilities. Now this position will work closely with clients to implement programs, 
be well versed in invoice clouds products and also contribute to the company's growth. But let's go ahead and talk about the pay though. So the base salary for this customer success manager role ranges from 65,000 and goes up to $95,000 per year with additional things like bonuses, commissions, and even equity. So Voice Cloud is also offering a competitive benefits package. This is going to include medical, dental, vision, 401k, flexible time off and a lot more. But if your background is not in this type of work, you can look at using your transferable skills. These you can also add to your resume, but things like time management, customer relationship management, and also client advocacy. So back when I used to run my massage business, I looked at resumes a lot. And there was times when I would look over a resume and I'd be like, okay, I definitely want to set up an interview with this person, but then I'd be looking at the resume and not see where to contact them or they only left an email and I ended up putting that resume to the side and then I would never look at it again. So this next tip, no matter how obvious it is, is to make sure that your contact information is clearly visible and it's right after your name. And you want to make sure that you add as many ways to get in touch with you as possible because people do reach out in many different ways. And another good thing to do is to add your LinkedIn profile as well, because a lot of hiring managers and recruiters are currently on LinkedIn. And this is where they send out a lot of their messages and get in touch with people to be able to set up interviews and stuff like that. Next up on our high paying work from home job is going to be CVS Health. Now they are a company with a clear purpose of bringing heart to every moment in your health. So currently CVS Health is offering an opportunity for those looking to make a difference in the healthcare industry. So these admission supervisors play a crucial role in managing admissions and intake representatives. These are going to be the primary contacts for new and existing patients and be able to guide them through the admissions process. Now qualifications for this role, they're looking for you to have at least a minimum of three years of relevant work experience. And the ideal person that they're looking for is going to have a knowledge of medical and insurance terminology, excellent verbal and written communication skills, as well as paying attention to detail and the ability to thrive in a fast paced environment. They do also have some preferred qualifications as well. Again, these are not required, but if you do have them, make sure you scream it from the rooftops that you do have these. Now, preferred qualifications are experience in home health care, billing, collections, admissions, or operations and two years of customer service or healthcare environment experience along with one to three years of supervisory experience are somebody who are really going to shoot to the top of the list. Make sure you don't skip putting that in any of your information, your cover letter, your resume, all of it. Now let's talk about the pay for this job. Pay range for this role is, hey, really quick, before we jump back into this video, I need to tell you about a way that you can learn how to get into your next online side hustle. Now, I know side hustles are all out here in these internet streets, but it's a lot of noise out here. And being able to figure out which side hustle is legit, which one is actually gonna bring you in some substantial money, and which one that you actually have to like grind your bones down until you can actually get some money out of it. I am gonna tell you the top paying online remote side hustles that you could get into today that are going to give you maximum return for the smallest amount of time investment, okay? Now, all of these side hustles are ones that I have either done myself or that I have closely worked with other people and friends and colleagues that have done the exact same thing. So if you want to learn about some beginner side hustles, then go ahead and click down in the description box below. We've got all the information down there for you. This ebook is called Side Hustle Success. All right, let's jump back into the video. Starting at $40,000, we can go up to $89,300. Along with this competitive pay, they are also offering comprehensive benefits package. This will also include medical dental vision, 401k, a retirement savings plan, employee stock purchase plan, life insurance, and disability benefits as well. Now, as you get hired, you also are going to have access to their well-being programs, education assistance, development courses, store discounts, and also membership discounts that they have. You have PTO, vacation pay holiday, paid holidays, of course, throughout the entire year. Let's move on to the next tip for leveling up your resume and 
It makes me think about when you are randomly walking on the street and a stranger just stops you. They'd be like, hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> and you know you are not about to give them five minutes to bring their point home, right? They need to get to the point and they need to get to the point fast because who are you and why are you stopping me, right? <laughs> and basically, you are just like the stranger in this scenario with your job and your resume. You only have about six seconds to catch the attention of the recruiter or the hiring manager that is looking at your resume. So short, simple, straight into the point is always going to win with your resume. Big bonus points too, if you make it skimmable because most people are not gonna read your resume from top to bottom. So the important parts are standing out. Let's go ahead and move into the next position, which is a unique opportunity at the company Blink. Now Blink is trailblazing in the smart home security camera space. And they're now a part of all Amazon devices. Currently, they're looking for a technical customer service manager to join their team, contribute to their mission of providing peace of mind for homeowners. So since Blink is a part of the Amazon family, they get to join the show with all the other gadgets like the Kindle, Fire tablets, Echoes, the whole nine. And their mission is to make sure that their homeowners do feel secure by using their wire-free battery-operated smart security cameras. So as a technical customer service manager at Blink, you are going to be playing a role in enhancing their customer satisfaction and care. Your responsibilities are going to span from developing and implementing customer service procedures to measuring customer satisfaction and improving on their services. So some of the key responsibilities of the role are going to be measuring customer satisfaction and driving continuous improvement. Handling customer communications is gonna be through phone, email, and chat. They want you to investigate and solve complex customer problems, as well as analyze data to determine the team's service level. You'll also identify and eliminate barriers to accuracy. It'll be managing the workforce and doing the scheduling and planning. So oh, qualifications for this role, they're looking for somebody who has three or more years of experience as a technical contact center support manager. If you have expertise in workforce planning, forecasting, scheduling, and budget management in a technical contact center, they are looking for you. A proven track record in building teams and creating employee development plans. Now, they also have preferred qualifications listed for this job position as well. But again, don't get caught up on it if you don't have them. Bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field. They are also looking for you to have strong interpersonal and communication skills, the ability to understand technical issues while focusing on people management and customer satisfaction. And if you are bilingual, if you speak French, Spanish, or German, then they are absolutely looking at that as a bonus. So make sure, again, you list that on there. This position is starting at 164,000 on the low end and can go up to $266,000 per year. Now the median uh, for this, most people are looking at about $207,000 for the year, but I mean, hey, you ready to get your resume together? or what, cause I got you. <laughs> this position also is open for people who are living in certain states. So you do check out the job post to make sure that it is in the area that you currently live in. So I was on vacation a few months ago and I went to this grocery store where they let you pay with your hand. You wand your hand over the little scanner thing instead of like you normally put your card on there. Now, if this doesn't tell you that we are the modern day Jetsons, I don't know what will, but that reminded me of the next point for your resume because we are living in this modern day Jetsons world we need to understand that your resume is being looked at by AI robots before most humans will ever even lay their hands on it and all this really means is that you got to play the robot game right you need to keep a few things in mind when you're writing your resume because you never know if humans or robots are reading it first so you just make sure that you optimize it for the robots because if the robots can read it, the humans can, right? <laughs> so first thing is you need to optimize your keywords in the same language as the job post. Now we did touch on that a little bit earlier, but really scanning through the job to see the language that they use and being able to naturally use that in your resume is gonna be a key thing for these robots. And then the second thing is using a straightforward format, like any tables or charts or anything like that, 
leave that out of there okay it's not needed moving into this next job position it's called 15.5 they are known for being a complete platform solution to improve manager effectiveness drive high performance and engagement and increase retention this company though is looking for a digital customer experience manager now as a customer experience manager you are going to play a crucial role in experimenting and implementing playbooks to enhance their customers maturity at scale so some of the key things that they are looking for in this role is going to be guiding their customers on the best outcome and adoption strategy through digital outlets you're going to design scalable campaigns to advise customers on successful adoption provide personalized training for different persona types focusing on relevant features you also collaborate with internal teams to make sure that the customer success outcomes are being achieved so they are looking for somebody who has three or more years of experience in customer success account management consulting or even similar roles are desired if you have strong organization and project management skills along with the ability to work cross functionally these are things that are going to be key in this position also if you have experience in success planning holding customers accountable and excellent communication skills are also preferred so the pay for this position is starting at base pay of $85,500 and this position can go all the way up to $93,000 a year. And 15.5 also does have a comprehensive benefits package. 